All right, Forlorn and Brightstone. This is the updated strategy where we're actually going to kill Forlorn in this area. So we don't have to go into the next room. We don't have to risk dealing with all those spiders and potentially having to run another lap around here, dodging Forlorn and spiders. So it starts out pretty much the same. We're going to get our short sword ready. Also the stone ring could be important to Forlorn invades. Firebombs at the ready. Here we go. Once again, we're going to drop down and break the, down this door very quickly so we can get around Forlorn up to the balcony. Run through. Now, if Forlorn's not invading, you can kill the spiders in this hallway, the stairway, but there's nothing for them to attack. But if Forlorn is invading, you want to keep moving so we can quickly knock down this guy and get to this spot over here. This is a good spot to be because enemies do not know how to reach you here. So we can turn around and kill these guys with firebombs or a bow. Now they won't tr really try to attack you because they don't know how to reach you. But they will still wander around and if they happen to wander very close, they can still attack. So we want to kill those three spiders as quickly as possible because they're the only real threat. And once they're dead, the torch is no longer needed. There are no more spiders in this area except for some on the walls, but leave them alone and they'll leave you alone. So ditch the torch and now we can use our bow. Now Forlorn will eventually drop aggro and return to his spawn point. If you were a bit slow to reach this point though, he might get trapped in the building. So you want to get here pretty quickly so that he returns to this spot on the bridge. And from here you can snipe him very easily. With a bit of luck, you should be able to push him into the spike pit to help kill him a little bit faster, though it's not much damage. And this is just very, very safe. Though, again, if Forlorn does not cooperate, this can also be very slow. If he makes it into this room, then he might wander around over there for a long time, where you can't always shoot him. If he makes it into the building and then tries to de-aggro, he might get stuck near the doorway, and then the only way to get him unstuck would be to drop down and lure him out. Which is doable, but you'd have to dodge past him and get back to this point again. So if you can knock him into the spike pit, he's basically dead. He's not smart enough to leave the pit, but it'll take forever. So we'll get a few more shots on him. Also, try to keep an eye on the, sp on the spider hollow as well, because it is theoretically possible that he wanders around and hits you from behind, but that's extremely unlikely because he's almost always just going to chill right where you knocked him down in this area somewhere. There he is. Again, they do not know how to path you when you're in that spot in the broken wall. And that's it. All the enemies are dead. So now we can go do whatever we need to do and get out of here.